In this demonstration, I'm going to look at extracting certain areas from my classified image. And in particular, what I want to do is to pull out just those areas that have been classified as burnt areas. So what I've already got up in my table of contents is my three smoothed classified images from April and June in 2010 and October in 2009. Now I know, for example, that those um, that the brown areas are the burnt areas, and that's what I'm interested in extracting at this stage. So if I use the the identity button that I've now clicked on for my image here, and I can click on on an area that's brown where I know is burnt, I see that the the value in that particular cell has a has an index of three. Now if you go back to Envy, you'll be able to see that in my classification burnt areas were the third class that, that I had entered in terms of the order of my region of interest. So that's the number that I'm interested in extracting when I get to a vector. So having said that, the first thing I want to do is to convert my classification to a vector file. So I want to activate Arc Toolbox by clicking on that and that brings that up there. Now what I want to do, do is to go to Conversion Tools and I want to, I can, there's a number of ways that I can do it, but I'm going to go to from raster and raster to polygon. If I double click on that tool there, that'll bring up the raster to polygon tool. My input raster is going to be, first of all, that error comes up because I'm recording this. My input raster is going to, first of all, be, say, my April 2010 image. So I click on that and it's giving me the optional field of value which is going to be the pixel pixel value there which for me is what I'm interested in because I want to extract those areas that have a value of 3. I'll output my polygon features to, uh, to my working directory so I would change that and I'll also tick off this, this box that says to simplify polygons. So I do that and have my output area correct and once I've done that I would then, it will then appear in your table of contents. So I'll go ahead and show you the files that I've created there. So that's my my June 2010, my April April 2010, and the Oct sorry, and the October 2009 image. So I'll add each of those. And if I click over to my table of contents, you'll now be able to see that when I switch on any of those layers that they're a vector file that contains all that information. So now you should be open, able to open the attribute table and see that the, there's now a grid code value which previously we had seen as values of NDVI. We now see as those particular categories that we're interested in. And for, for this part here, I'm interested in extracting those values where the grid code equals three because they're the areas that I know are burnt regions. So all I need to do for that is to right click on my grid code column and go to, oh, sorry, go to the table properties, table options button and go to select by attributes. Now what I'm going to do here is click on grid code. So if I double click on that, that sends it down to the bottom here in my, in where I'm developing the equation. So I want to go grid code equals three. And that's going to find me all those areas that have been classified as burnt in my image. So I click apply there and that, that selects them in my attribute table. And also shows me the individual polygons. Now it looks kind of congested at the moment. So what I want to do is now to export that, those selected records into their own file. So if I right click on the layer in the table of contents and just off the screen you'll be able to go to data and then export data. So I want to export the selected features which for me is the burnt areas and I'll leave all the other, the other options exactly as they are but I will change the output file name to, to an appropriate one. So perhaps 1406.10 burnt areas or so. I'll just cancel that as I've already created it and if I now add that layer, so 27, uh, that was the 27th, the 14th, um, 06, 2010 burnt areas and if I click that on you'll now see that I have a shapefile or a layer that has areas that are specific just to the burnt areas that, of that particular date. 
and I've done that for the other dates as well so you'll be able to see for the 27th of April 2010 and also for the 17th of October 2009. So I could actually add all of those at once and you can see areas that have been classified as burnt. And immediately you're seeing that I do have some errors in this classification that I would, I would like to clean up at some point in time and if, definitely if I had more time to do the classification I would remove those.